So, you want to make melodic dubstep like Virtual Riot. Here's how I do it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm showing you how to make a song that's inspired by Virtual Riot's latest album, Simulation. And we're getting right into it. Set the BPM to 150. Using a retro sounding bass, make a bass line. On a delayed sine wave, write a riff that sounds like it would be the intro to some kind of emo or pop punk song. Harmonize it with a piano. Hang on a second. Isn't that Mumbai power? Is it really a Virtual Riot song if it isn't slightly ripping off Skrillex taking back Sunday and Marshmallow all at the same time? She said don't. Risers and impacts for dramatic effect. A clap to keep everything on beat. Using a saw stack, write a bouncy chord progression. These are the chords I used. In Serum, make a chiptune lead by layering a square and a saw oscillator. Using these octaves spread, map LFO1 to the octaves to make it bleep. Harmonize this one, too. Add a syncopated kick. And a cute little snare. Pump up the highs in the EQ to really make it cut through. Fast hats. and a few little offbeat percussion noises to spice it up. And all together, it'll sound like Jersey Club Kicks. Keep that clap going. Layer it with a hat. Using the same saw stack, keep the bouncy rhythm, but stick to one chord. I use the root chord so that it goes smoothly into the drop. Distorted saw with a repeating arp. New perks. Snare roll and pitch it up. Of course, the riser. And all together, it should sound like this. And instead of a pre-drop vocal, just be super extra and make an entire fake out section. But before we get to the drop, just a quick word from our sponsor. And if you've been on this channel before, you know that DistroKid is the best way to release your music to streaming services like Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, and more. But do you know about DistroKid's feature Hyperfollow? You know how you need one link that leads to your music on all streaming services? Well, that's where Hyperfollow comes in. The second you're done uploading your release, you can start promoting and collecting pre-saves on Spotify using Hyperfollow. And as soon 
soon as the release goes live, your page will automatically update to include all the links necessary to other streaming services. This link never changes and you never have to update it. No way! Plus, it's easy to find. Just uh, go to your goodies menu and click on promote yourself. Once you start using Hyperfollow, you'll be getting more followers, more listeners, more contacts. You even have access to research, insight, stats. Also, get 7% off your first year of DistroKid using my VIP link. Signing up also helps uh, support the channel directly. So thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for. The actual First, add a drum rack. Pick a kick that has a lot of top end click, but a very short bass tail, something like this. Place it on the halftime. Add a snare, but cut off the bottom a bit. Make sure it's nice and thick still. Keep time by using rides and hats, all playing constantly. Extra percussion for flare, but also layering with the kick and snare to give it more body. Altogether, your drums should sound like this. the main sound, it's a Virtual Riot tutorial, so of course, I had to use Virtual Riot samples off of Splice. I mean, like, really, if you want to sound like Virtual Riot, it's right there. Are you serious, bro? Anyway, I picked this sample because it has a little bit of tonality and lots of clicky transients. <laughs> Since I plan on making a color base, this is what I'm looking for. Hey, yo, are you serious? You're using Virtual Riot samples in a Virtual Riot tutorial? Dude, you're such lame, you're whack, you're stupid. I'm gonna make a post about this Listen, if you wanna be a make your own bass Andy, there's no problem with that. In fact, it's totally fine. There's actually tons of channels out there that are way better than I am in regards to bass sound design like Neddy, Dr. Rosie, Moon Boy, Bunting, Barely Alive, probably some I'm missing. Also a bunch of losers. Yeah, except Bunting. <laughs> we love Bunting. Shut up. Why do you feel the need to try and be better than everybody by making it harder for yourself? Listen, friend, while Brayden is over there constantly posting on websites that give you fake internet points whining about why he can't finish a song, you'll be signed and your fans won't care whether or not you used a splice loop or you made the bass yourself. Plus these samples wouldn't exist if they weren't meant to be used. So get it out of your head that you have to make everything from scratch and work towards finishing more songs. Either way, if you choose to make your own bass or find a sound on splice, chop it up into a pattern like this. I like this rhythm because it reminds me of Metalcore Breakdown. EQ out the lows and use OTT on these settings so that we bring out the highs of this sound and with more noise, the better the result will be. This is before, and this is after. Notice how I'm cutting out all the bass sounds there. Add a vocoder and create an audio effect track with it by right clicking it and selecting group. Click this three little lines button here to begin the parallel process process. Right click here, create chain and rename this track dry and this track vocode. This lets you control exactly of how much each sound we use. Next, create the carrier, create a new track and using Serum, use the pad preset D pad one. Put in these chords. And if you're worried about how muddy this sounds on its own, we're gonna mute it. So mute that, go back into the vocoder, set the carrier to external and select carrier. Now bring the dry wet to 100%, adjust the form into a little and the EQ 
enhance, precise. Use the audio effect rack to mix everything in. I found it was good around this level. And now revel in the wonderful mix of melodic and bass and chords. Some might even call it colorful, but we're split on that. And I also add resonator on this setting for a very subtle low end chunk. That's kind of hard to hear, but it adds enough to make it needed. It has just a tiny bit of body that this riff kind of requires. Make sure to automate the root of the resonator to match the chord progression. Automate the dry signal's volume for slight variation during different sections of the drop. Inversely, mute certain parts of the carrier so you can sneak some growls in there. Now if you hear me playing this back and you're noticing this bass doesn't really have a lot of punch, find another bass sample that has lots of transient and layer it underneath so that it cuts through. This one's also really good for fill growls. Also, resample the main sound and EQ it for even more fill sounds. Hang on. This one. This would also be a really good sample to vocode. 12 seconds later. Sick. I'll have to use that for the second drop. Add an ARP on the offbeat. This is the serum patch I used. It is only a square wave with an LFO also mapped to the octave for that bleep. Don't forget the sub bass. And a ridiculous synth solo in the second drop. And of course, I'm gonna use the vocal that somehow works well with anything that Virtual Riot writes. Don't go chasing what's gone. A classic. And hey, if you've made it this far, you're a legend. Making these videos from research, writing, and producing the songs, not to mention the amount of editing, will usually take me around 20 to 30 hours, sometimes more. So if you support what I'm doing, even just liking the video and subscribing to my channel helps my content reach more people and lets me keep doing this. If you want to support me even further, check out my Patreon. Even just the $2 tier helps me way more than you realize. Plus, you'll find project files for every song you've heard on this channel, including this one, along with presets for Serum, Vital, Ableton Racks, and more in-depth breakdowns. But enough of that. All together with the vocals, here is the final song.